One Piece Bounty Rush. We are still in need of certain improvements in the game, and we've hit up the wish list between me and Roman. I've hit up the community wish list, things that you guys wanted to see. And today I have probably the most well known person in the community to help share our thoughts on other things that we would like to see here in the game. Certainty, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Here to uh, give you guys some ideas. Let me know what you guys think of them, you know. Yeah, so in case you guys are completely new to this, Certainty is also a PBR YouTuber. He's also heavy just in the community, helping out um, with different kinds of support characters, kind of guiding which banners need more attention and whatnot. So anything else you want to give about your channel? Or I guess what you do specifically. I try to do uh, videos, but uh, I'm a lot more heavy in collabs. Uh, you're gonna see me a lot around the community. Uh, I've done some on Roman's channel, uh, Mamba. You know, I make uh, concept characters. Uh, if you're into those types of stuff, you know, concept characters, help guides, all those uh, cool stuff. You can definitely check me out. I have a lot more dopey stuff coming up actually. Uh, hey. I'm maxed, so. Like definitely looking forward to that one. Um, but like I said, make sure to go check him out, show him some love, drop a like on every video, and go subscribe over there as well. And in case you guys wanted to know, this is a very fun fact. Me and him came up with five things that we would like to see implemented into the game so that way we can have a better quality of life with everything that's in here currently. So uh, if you want to kick off uh, the first thing that you wanted to see implemented into the game, First thing, more specific character boost traits. A while back we saw this with Shanks, uh, rather than the typical attacker increase uh, critical damage boost rate, we instead with Shanks got a uh, 5% chance to stun when you attack an enemy. Uh, this was meant to be kind of like his Conqueror's Hockey thing, uh, kind of going for that effect. Uh, then we saw it again with Roger. And then one more time we saw it with Akainu, however we had it so there was a 5% chance to inflict incinerate. These are pretty cool. Um, I, I for one would definitely like to see more of these. Uh, for example, maybe like Kuma. Uh, a lot of these are usually typically going back to like the anime and how they're uh, shown. So maybe with like Kuma, there would be like a 1% chance when attacking an enemy to send them back to their spawn. These just add a lot more, uh, you know, similarities to the anime. Uh, and it's just a really nice way, really nice and easy way to show that they really, you know, are a lot going for a lot more of a, you know, canon game than they currently are. I feel you, I feel you. I definitely feel like if they add on definitely more touches to what each character is about and what makes their cool unit I thought of that would be pretty cool is like maybe if Bartholomew, like maybe if he has kind of like a, a damage reduction when going against a straw hat opponent or all his stats are boost like maybe by like two or three percent whenever straw hats are aligned with them and it kind of fits that would kind of fit special to his character as a whole because of how much of a fanboy he was with all of these straw hats second one i think is more important to me is to see more free to play units come back to the game the last one we got was I want to say either right before or during the two year anniversary and it stopped having one that dropped with every bounty fest I think was a good pace so that way if you didn't get or didn't decide to summon on that banner because you A didn't like the unit that was headlining the banner I feel like they fell off heavy with that the last free to play unit that I could think of that we got was Wano Chopper and by far Wano Chopper is a lot of fun to run. On Clay is absolutely fun to play. I had fun making the five star video, but those are my thoughts on more free to play gold shop units or challenge battle exchange units that need to come. I don't know if you have anything more you want to add to that. Um, yeah, I agree. I think support is definitely one place where they're really good. I mean, for example, uh, Wano Chopper, really good support. You know, you got the zone tag, you got New World. Straw Hat Pirates, Runner, all those good tags. Uh, with the Alabaster car, uh, battle, we actually got Blue Croc uh, Fragments. This was actually really good because a lot of people could get in boost 3 at that time. So maybe we could see some more of that. Maybe um, MP Luffy, it was strange because every game you played you'd get like 
uh, it had a completely different fragment system, but you could, like, some people had, you know, uh, thousands on thousands of um, uh, Stampede Luffy fragments after his boss battle. So, um, we could definitely see some more of that. Maybe if coal units, you rather than you can only buy enough to six star them, maybe you could keep buying the fragments regardless for maybe three cola for one. You could actually boost three of them. This next one, we got more conditional transformings. Uh, as particularly for zones. With like uh, Kiku, when they came out, they had a, a in the last 60 seconds or less, uh, inflicts up with Mask of the Devil. So basically in the last 60 seconds, they would uh, give themselves Mask of the Devil. They would have their cooldown times for both skills. And it was just a really cool conditional uh, date. This could be cool on some other units. So maybe like um, CP9 Luchi. If whenever his health dropped uh, below 50% HP, what if he like got um, seeing uh, some more of those, you know, here and there? That would be pretty, uh, pretty cool addition to the game. But definitely having more unique characters that something that tends to tie back into the anime you'd want to see. We also need a more in-depth help guide. Currently, right now, if you're a new player and seeking for self-help or just trying to get yourself out and don't necessarily know who to get in contact with. There's, the guide doesn't necessarily, or the game doesn't necessarily guide you in the right way. Being able to fully boost your units the correct way to get the most optimal team, or how to optimize certain units that you want to play. So definitely a better support. Not really well known on what can necessarily give you the best support at all. And having a step-by-step -step picture guide or something like you do for literally just about most of the stuff that we may or may not even need definitely do that with support and just like these units with these certain effects give you an increased rate into your support some of these are really bad like if you go to the help guide there's a section for it called other and then there's a subcategory for it called mission and its only description is clear missions to earn rewards what I, I, I honestly don't even know what they're talking about. They could be talking about uh, like the daily missions, weekly missions, those ones. It's still just not really a good description. Uh, and like OPFP, there's actually card uh, recommendations. So cards are basically the equivalent of medals in Fighting Path. So maybe if we could see on like Dofi, just recommended um, sets. We got to talk about gems. What's going on right now is ridiculous. Um, and I'd like to really highlight this with two specific points. The 1000 day anniversary, a uh, very, very special event. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of us could agree on that. You know, a thousand days, we're getting close to a thousand chapters, a thousand episodes, or we're at a thousand, over a thousand episodes, or chapters. We're getting close to a thousand episodes. Um, and we get a reward for a 1000 day anniversary. All of us have been playing for, uh, not all of us, but they've been going for a thousand days. And we get 20 gems. We celebrate that huge milestone by giving 20 gems. Then, right after, we get the Halloween campaign. And uh, last year, we actually did get quite a few gems for Halloween and the login bonus. This year, none. Um, another point would be, uh, if you take a look at the data mines right now, it looks like there's a lot of extremely hyped characters. You've got, you know, Yamato, Timeskip, Blackbeard, Soba Mask, um, probably... Wano, uh, Oni, Gashima, Sanji probably, I'm really, Wano, Marco, all these extremely hype units. Um, they're basically forcing you to only summon on a few, uh, even with the anniversary included, I don't see anyone making more than 1,500 gems. So you're either gonna uh, take your chance at the EX, probably not get them, uh, because it's not enough for the guarantee, most likely not enough for the guaranteed. Or you can go for the um, Bounty Fest and maybe get two of them, but you're still really limiting people on what they can get from, uh, you know, out of all these extremely hyped characters. So, it's pretty ridiculous how uh, they really are trying to push people to the whale side. We definitely need more free-to-play gems in there, and you can throw them in on the challenge battle mission. Like We have weekly missions in about... Two different areas if i'm thinking correctly so you have your weekly missions you can replace some of those with rainbow gems and you have your challenge battle missions like the actual missions not separate from the event mission 
that you can get from the point system you could throw in more because i believe you said earlier it's about 25 if you complete it from start to finish so i mean if you do that that's only a hundred per month and your summons are 50 a piece so you you're pretty much telling me if i play your event i'm only going to get two free summons a month and even if i don't summon for a whole year and wait for an ex i'm only going to get half of the cost for a guaranteed unit if i wait for one whole year i can play your game one whole year not spend a single rainbow gem and not even get a guaranteed anniversary and that is what is crazy so those are things that uh, me and certainty would like to see change here in the game just to make quality of life better and the overall pair blaze from our perspective a lot happier with the game do you have any other thing you want to say before we go ahead and wrap things up i think that's about it um honestly we're just hoping maybe one day Vanda will decide to listen to us you know add some of these requests in Vanda, if you don't want to get genshined just go ahead, just take a note. You don't have to do everything verbatim. Just take notes and listen to what we as a whole want to see from you. But if you guys don't want to get Genshin either, then make sure to A, like this video, because we will find a way and make your viewing experience horrible if you don't like this video. And also if you don't go over and subscribe over here and subscribe to the Boy Certainty channel. You guys want to check out more one piece binary content make sure to click the box here that'll lead you to another video that's gonna be it i'm out of here see you guys